Hey everyone, welcome back to Talk Doula to Me. I am so excited um, to have an amazing guest with us today. I am Nicole. I am one of your local doulas in your area. I'm here to serve my community. Um, and we have Joanna with us tonight. So exciting. Yes. Um, thank you for being with us. Of course, oh my gosh. I love birth. I was a birth photographer. And so my heart bleeds <laughs> supporting women and talking about birth stories. And so I'm totally here for this. Oh, yay. And I love your energy. It's exploding out of you. So we're <laughs> going to jump right into it. Um, so tell us, so tell us a little bit about your birth story. Um, tell us, you know, did you have a doula? Did you not? What was some of the struggles? What did, um, you know, if you did have a doula, what did they help you with? Like, give us all the, the details. Yeah. So my name is Joanna. I live in, um, you know, the Southern hemisphere, the t greater Tennessee area. And I, um, I got pregnant and, um, I was having a rainbow baby. So I, I was very, um, unsure, very nervous. There were a lot of things that I just felt like I needed an expert. I needed someone to kind of guide me through the um, pregnancy process, delivery process, and kind of ease my nerves. Because uh, if there's anyone that resonates with that story, I really, I felt like the entire pregnancy, I was waiting for the other shoe to drop. Mm -hmm. um, and I really, I kept waiting for something else to go wrong. Experiencing loss is, um, is very difficult. And to go through that again, I just kind of kept waiting for something to happen. And so having that support throughout my pregnancy, I got a doula very early on because I knew I wanted that like hands-on personal experience that I, I had from my midwife. It just was so, so different coming from a doula, knowing that she was going to be with me that whole time. So she was, uh, I found her through mutual, we were, we were mutual friends and, um, she was kind of getting, uh, she had just become an official doula. She'd gone all her training and she'd had a couple clients under her belt and, but I felt safe. I felt comfortable with her. She was someone that I knew I could have in the room and be, and not, you know, not even know, or not even feel um, insecure or uncomfortable knowing that she was there. And that was something that was really important to me. So I think overall, my, my birth process was so much better because I had the doula, I had my doula present um, and she knew what to do when there were moments um, of stalling or moments where, you know, things really needed to, to kind of shift and move around. She would advise me to like change positions. She would give me something like a peanut or, you know, we'd, we, she'd help me flip over on my sides. Um, and so that really, that process, I think, you know, what, you think you know what your birth is gonna look like. Yeah. Um, especially for me, I was a birth photographer. I had literally seen it all. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I, had, I had photographed so many births. I was like, oh, this will be old hat. I know what's coming. <laughs> and um, that oh, was not that. the case. <laughs> that was not the case with my own birth. It was nothing like I had ever experienced before. And um, my contractions came on very quickly and um, simultaneously, one right after another. They called it rolling contractions. So, um, that was for nine hours. So I really wow. needed that hands-on. I loved the counter pressure, um, throughout those contractions. And so having someone squeezing my hips, whether it was my mother-in-law or my husband or my doula, someone was doing it the whole time. And to be able to have that extra person to kind of switch off um, when people got tired or someone wanted a break, it was so helpful. Um, but I just think that additional aspect of pain to really, I felt like most things just left my brain. Any, anything that I had read, any training that I had done, mm. things that I had prepared, I was like, all I can think about is this pain. I know that I'm supposed to relax into it. I know, you know, I know all of these things, but it just felt like in those moments, I really needed someone who had walked through, you know, walked through this pregnancy with me. We had talked about my birth plan. We had talked about what it was that I wanted and she could remind me, Hey, 
remember, remember we talked about this. Yeah. Um, as a third party person that wasn't my spouse, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it was like, there was, there was, she could yell, you know, she could be firm with me and be like, remember, like, this is what we talked about. This is what you want. I want to help you get the birth that you want. And so this is what we're going to do. It might hurt. Mm -hmm. It might be uncomfortable. You might not like me, but this is what we're going to do. <laughs> and so that really was, it, it was so affirming to me, but so helpful to know, like, this is why I chose a doula in my birth process um, for that additional support for that person who knew and could tell me what, you know, what I had said out loud, but was forgetting in those moments because I was obviously very occupied. Distracted, <laughs> right? <laughs> <On contractions>, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that's so true. That's so true. And a lot of times, um, Joanna, you bring up such a good point because people say, I don't need a doula. I have my husband or I have my partner. And I say, well, does your partner or your husband need a doula? Because like, we need to be your brain. We need to totally. be, you know, when you're dealing with those sensations and those surges, um, like you just said, I need to be that, you know, that level right here, um, reminding you when you're going that up and down, up and down all over the place, you feel like your brain's not really working or maybe not even in your head sometimes, right? You're like, I can't think, I can't function, right? Um, we're, that's what we're there for. And I'm so thankful that you gave that example. Now, how long were you with your doula? Like, when did you decide, I want a doula, I'm going to hire a doula, like kind of what month or what week was that at? I think I was about four months in, four or five months into okay. my pregnancy. Um, I, as a birth photographer, I knew, like I had been through multiple births, lots of births, and I knew <laughs> how important doulas were to that process. And so very early on, I started looking for people because at that time, now I now have so many friends who are doulas, so many friends who are doulas. Oh. I could have my pick if I wanted to, but at that time, it just wasn't something that people were super talking about. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of in a younger age where it, it wasn't something that a lot of my friends were doing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm now old, you know, old enough now that I have a lot of friends who have had babies who, you know, or who are at that stage where they're looking for a career, you know, looking for a career. The time that I had my daughter, a lot of people my age were just graduating college. <laughs> so, yeah. so it was, you know, at 23 years old, there are not a lot of other people who were having, you know, who were choosing to be a doula at that age. So yeah. That was kind of, I wanted to put feelers out there and I saw her post something on Facebook about becoming a doula and kind of starting that journey. And so I followed her for a little, you know, I followed her journey for a little bit and I was like, listen, I love, like, I love her. I know her as a person. I'm so happy for her that she decided to do this. She has six children of her own and, um, triplets, <laughs> twins, oh my God. all the things. So, wow. um, I knew that she knew what she was talking about and that she was going to be someone that I could really trust in this process. Yeah, no, I love that you said that too, because one of the things that we hear too, on the doula side of things is, well, how many births have you been to? Right. Or like, well, how long have you been doing this? Or, and lots of times I say, well, you know, even if I've been to, let's say 300 births or I've been to three, your birth is going to be different. Your totally. birth, I'm going to go into it. Like it's my very first birth. Like that is all that matters. I am bringing all my tools. I am bringing everything that I have in my mind, body, and soul to your specific birth. And do you kind of feel like that's how it was? Um, even though you, like you said, your, your friend that, that was a doula for your birth, she didn't have hundreds and hundreds of births under her belt, you right. know, as an experience. Yeah. I, I know what it's like as an entrepreneur to need someone to believe in you right off the bat. Mm -hmm. Um, and someone needs to start with their experience somewhere. And I trusted her as a person enough um, that I knew she would be that fit for me, regardless as to how many births she had experienced, you know, mm -hmm. this was going to be the thing, um, the, the, the kind of person I wanted in the room, just our, our general attitudes towards each other, you know, the way that 
that we could connect. And in the comfortable level that I had with her was everything that I needed. And I really didn't care about how many births she had attended. Yeah. It was, could I feel comfortable with you in the room with me? And do I feel like you'd be the right person to, to go through this with? Mm -hmm. And to be able to connect during, I mean, it's really such an intimate time. I mean, yeah. it's, you couldn't be more vulnerable, right? Well, right. Vulnerability, even pre-birth, you know, in, in talking about what it is that you want from your experience as someone who had experienced loss, so, ha so had my doula, you know, she had gone through um, loss. And, and so that was something that too, I could really connect with her on. She knew uh, the kind of things that were going through my mind. And, you know, when she asked me, what is your biggest fear? You know, what is the thing going into delivery that you're like, if this happens, I will be done for, or like, you know, obviously I had that, what if scenario in my head, like, what if I get this far and I still don't get the baby that has grown with me as long as possible. Yes. Um, but also this may sound totally dumb, but at the time I was terrified of being nauseous and like getting sick during labor. Yeah. Um, because I'm like, if I get sick, I will not be able to do anything else. I will be so focused on, on the nausea and being afraid to throw up that I will not be able to focus on anything else. And to have her say, like, I, I did deliver in a hospital and I delivered with midwives. Mm -hmm. Um, but she was like, you are delivering in a hospital. And if you get sick and you want medication for that, for the nausea, they can give that to you in the hospital. Really like, hard. yep. And I was like, oh yes, like that's, you know, that's for, for me, that just took so much pressure off of that fear uh, because I've seen women stall out after getting sick and they can't yeah. think of anything else. They're so ill. And I was like, I cannot let that happen to me because that will be me. <laughs> I do not like getting sick. <laughs> and that is something that will totally, you know, disrupt any progress. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. so for her to say that and just kind of like to even ask me that question, like, what is your biggest fear? Yeah. Because she wants to know how to support me in that. Um, but just to give me that, that validation and the answers to the fears that I had to go, Hey, I'm prepared for you in this way. You know, I know that if you do get sick, that you want to ask for this and I can go ahead and do that for you oh, yeah. when the time, you know, when it's time. Mm, I love that. I love that. And this might sound like a silly question, but if let's say um, all of Tennessee was, you know, like standing before you and you were on top of a building and you had to say whether you wanted a doula or not, or it was a great experience or not, or whether people should hire a doula or not, what would be your couple sentences that you would tell people that are maybe on that fence of like, all right, Joanna, I hear you. I hear your experience, but I don't know. Yeah, I think it's something that goes a little like this because I feel like I give this spiel a lot as a birth photographer. People are always on the fence about birth photographers. And, and so I'll say this 1000% yes, mm -hmm. always a doula. I will never, whether it's a birth at home or in a birthing center or at a hospital, I will always have a doula. And that's because I, I, no matter what, always want to be present in the moment with, with that experience. Um, you never get that time back. You never, you never get that birthing experience back, whether it's good or bad. Yeah. And so to be able to have someone like a therapist that you count on throughout your life to give you the tools you need to be able to experience life at its fullest, right? Healing from trauma, um, experiencing your life in the, in those real life moments. I think that a doula is so important in that process of that in a time that you'll never get back. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, she helps you be present by reminding you what it is that you wanted in the first place. Um, she relieves a lot of pressure as, as a support person in a role, whether it's your spouse or a loved one, um, to know she's someone who has experience to help guide you through that. Um, 
your spouse gets to be present with you in those moments instead of trying to figure out what's going on. I had a, I had a, my daughter ended up going to the NICU for the first hour mm-hmm. because they were afraid she swallowed meuconium. So my husband went with my daughter yeah. and I was left alone, right? Mm-hmm. If it wasn't, if it hadn't have been for my doula, I would have been st- sitting there getting stitched up by myself. Um, and instead I had that support person still with me and I won't, I just can't imagine being left in a room by myself in moments where doctors and nurses were coming in and out. That was so valuable to me to have that, that wing woman (laughs) to be next to me and to be able to do this with me. And so that's, that's what you have to think about is not necessarily, am I prepared enough? Have you had a child before? Maybe you didn't need a doula per se, or you didn't know what a doula could do for you in those moments, but they offer so much support in that process before that process. And even some doulas that do, you know, postpartum recovery and, and, you know, that kind of help as well. They're so beneficial for you to look into, um, to be able to help you side by side throughout the process that can be very scary, very unknown. Um, And so that's, that's why I would bet, you know, that's why I would have a doula every single time is for that arm in arm linked partnership into, you know, one of the most beautiful moments of your life. Mm, That's awesome. Well, Joanna, you have been truly a blessing. I love your passion. I love who you are. I love your heart. Um, You have just by doing this, you know, last 15 minutes, um, you've touched people. Um, You've been, you know, your voice is going out into our community and sharing with people, helping them, encouraging them, uplifting them. So we thank you for this time. I'm so thankful um, that you said yes to to having a chat with me um, and being on our show. So thank you for being here tonight. Thank you for chatting. Thank you for sharing your heart. Um, And we really appreciate you. Of course. Thank you so much. Absolutely. And thank you everyone that's listening and we'll see you next time. Have a good night.